Well, the memorial service is now over. The president is gone. But in Colleen, the long road to recovery is just beginning. Jim Swift spent some time in the town that borders Fort Hood this week. At Central Christian Church in Colleen, 13 crosses represent the people who died last week. 30 American flags honor those who were wounded, including the shooter. That was the idea of church elder Paul Butler. He was a wounded. Uh... So there's some compassion there for him as well as the others. Outside a small flower shop, a sign advertising a deal on candles shares space with some well wishes for the victims. We just want them to know that the community supports them and, um, and we love them. But throughout, Colleen, there is a heaviness hanging in the air. You can see it in the restaurants, you know, there's very little activity, very little traffic, and even right here, uh, Walmart. Uh, basically pretty much empty. You can see the parking lot right there right now. At one Subway sandwich shop, the tragedy is even having an impact on employee pay. Because it's just not, not enough people coming in for, for sandwiches, you know? So you basically just tell people not to come to work? Um, basically, yes, or we tell them to clock out early. Like, I had to go home early. This morning, I know that I heard sirens going by. I don't know if they were ambulances or police cars, fire engines or what, but... I kind of froze up, oh no, what's happening again? Truthfully, I think we're going to have um, a little more a little more racism, a little more racism than we did before. And I mean, it happens at times like this, you just get, you get leery of, of, of certain people that look a certain type of way. I was uh, impressed and at awe that the Islamic community has gotten together uh, in support of and, re and s requesting donations. Bottom line, you think this community is going to deal with this all right? Uh, we don't have a choice. It's only going to make this, this great community here stronger. I don't expect a big backlash. I think uh, as terrible as it was, as horrible, as much hurting as is going on now, I, I really feel like the healing process has probably already started. Reporting from Colleen, Jim Swift, KXAN, Austin News.